today to talk about the proposed regulation on electronic identification and trust services that was passed from the Commission to the Parliament last year. This legislation is difficult. I'm very glad to see Amelia and others and people in this room taking lead in it insofar as that these identity and trusted services are going to become an exceedingly large part of uh, innovation and growth over the next decade. I think um, it is important if we think about growth in the um, uh, digital market that we look at a broader uh, notion of trust uh, than just the trust in the identification. Um, trust is a very broad notion in the economy. It's, we know it from the financial markets. If there's no trust, nobody buys. And um, I think the same broad notion of trust uh, we need uh, in the digital uh, economy. But in order to send personal data that uh, authenticates us between different entities, we also need to be sure that the data can be sent securely. And this requires trust and maybe entities in society that provide that trust. The Commission spent over 24 million euros in recent years funding research about network identity, electronic identity management and access control and principles of privacy by design, and yet has largely ignored the recommendations and specifications in the position papers of the funded research of ANISA, FIDIS, and ABC for Trust. We regularly see in empirical data in surveys, whether by the Commission or private parties, that between 50 and 80 percent of the citizens in Europe and also the United States are worried about what happens uh, with their data. This distrust is indeed a growth impediment and the purpose of the regulation which the Commission has proposed for data protection is indeed to overcome this distrust. So I think we have here a number of elements which we have to think about and uh, I would say that the privacy element, if you think of popular sentiment, is probably uh, uh, the most important. Data protection is necessary to overcome the distrust of citizens uh, in the system and also to may enable this whole thing and uh, basically this is what our research project is about. In this context privacy is important but also other trust services. Absolutely and this is why we contribute to restoring the trust with this uh, proposal for the regulation on mutual recognition of electronic identification and trust services in Europe. To establish trust relations, reasonable efforts must be made to ensure that data security framework is stable and resilient to threats. And there is still a significantly large gap between the principles of European data protection and the content of this proposed regulation. What we actually want is uh, secure communication. And secure communication, of course, implies confidentiality of data, uh, which ensures that the content of the message uh, will be available only to intended recipient. I imagine in Europe, as you're formulating this, you should pay attention. And we at Open Standards Bodies, and the great thing about standards is there's so many to choose from, you know, Etsy, IE, ISO, ITF, W3C, we work together as a larger ecosystem, but we would appreciate more input from wider civil society.